Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you three ways to add average lines and apply conditional formatting in Power BI charts, starting with a simple built-in average line application from an analytics pane, then using DAX to calculate the monthly average and apply a conditional logic to highlight the above and below average values. Finally, a dynamic average calculation to work in different levels of a date hierarchy. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to stay up to date with Power BI, Power Query and Excel videos from Excel Fort. For these examples, I have a simple model here. I've got a sales data table where you can see I have product category, order date and sales and a simple dates table. For my first example, I have added a simple line chart showing sales data from 2021 January to December. If I want to add an average line that is supposed to show monthly average across these periods, then I can simply click on the chart and go to the analytics pane. You have many options here. You can add a minimum line, maximum, average, median, even percentile. But uh, let's uh, talk about average for this video. Adding an average line is simple. Just go and click add average line. Click on the add button over here. Let's rename it just to say average. This is fine. Turn on the label and show the name and the value. In the chart now you are looking at the average monthly sales for the period that is selected for 12 months so if i go and remove the filter on the year you are looking at two years worth of data two years average sale is 105,006. so it's completely flexible it works for any filter and uh, changes accordingly there are some limitation with this uh, option Suppose if you want to highlight certain months that are above or below the average, then you cannot make use of this line chart to do so. So in our next example, I'll be showing you how to achieve that. I can make a copy of this chart and paste it on the second page where I'll be showing you the second example. The first thing I'm going to remove the average line that we added in the first example. You can go over to the analytics pane and remove the average. First step is to calculate a measure uh, that produces the same result as the first example where we saw the average uh, monthly sales. Let me see what's the number over there. Uh, it's 342,150, right? Okay, I'm going to create the same measure here right click a new measure let me first rename this measure i'll call it monthly average sales to calculate the monthly average sales i can use the average x function iterate over all selected month year month and I need to add the month number which I have used, year month number which I have used for sorting. Right. I can use the sales amount measure for this. Hit enter. I'll need to do some formatting. Let me give now I can add this measure to the chart to make sure the numbers are correct. So I'm getting the same amount, which is uh, across the months, the average sales that we saw in the previous example, right? 342,000. Now using this measure, I should be able to decide whether each month is above or below the average monthly sales and do the conditional formatting accordingly. Let's uh, see how we can do that. I don't need this measure to be here in this chart. I can just take it off. So let me build a measure for the conditional formatting and right click, click on new measure. Let me rename the measure as conditional formatting one. So I need to check if 
sales amount is greater than or equal to the monthly average sales then I can use a color you can type your own color names here or hexadecimal codes doesn't matter it's going to take up so let me use a color like uh, C green if I remember correctly and tomato fine now I'm going to select the chart under data colors as you can see there is no option for conditional formatting when I have the line chart here the trick is change this chart to a different chart type let's change it to a clustered column chart now you can see under the colors section you have a conditional formatting option I'm going to go over there format by I can choose field value I, I have already created the measure I can just choose uh, CF1 click OK now you see colors showing anything above average with green and uh, the red I would say so let me go and change the filters on the product category that seems to be working fine now if you go back to the chart types and change it to line chart now you see the markers are there with the conditional formatting applied anything above the average is highlighted with green and below is highlighted as red in the last and final example let's have a look at how to create an average line with uh, hierarchical data so let me go back to the first example that we did and make a copy of uh, the chart and paste it over to the page number three so in this page I just uh, need to rearrange this chart let me go back to the fields and remove year month instead I'll add uh, the year then the quarter and the month name I don't need the uh, average line that we added it's showing 2020 and 21 it's top of the hierarchy I can drill down so right now you are looking at uh, year quarter and month all together to put it in the right uh, order to organize this in a nice way so what we can do we can go to the um, X axis and uh, turn off concatenate labels and I don't need the titles as well what you are seeing right now is the monthly sales with the hierarchy year quarter and month so you are able to drill up to the year level then to the quarter and month right so the average that I need here is I need to average the month within each quarter and compare the monthly performance against the average so if you go and add a regular average line from the analytics pane it doesn't serve my purpose as you can see the average is let's uh, turn on the labels okay the average 319 that is the average across all the months that I can see here this is not what I want uh, let me go and delete the average line that I created I need to create a measure which will calculate the average sales according to the hierarchy that I have selected so right now I am at a monthly level so it has to average within each quarter if I drill up I'm at quarter level so it has to average within that particular year right quarterly average will be calculated for each year let me create a new measure I can name the new measure as dynamic average sales so I need to calculate the average sales based on the hierarchy level that I have selected first I need to identify the current level 
of the hierarchy I am in right for this I can use a switch statement true so the first condition I'm going to evaluate is if the month is in scope in scope month name month names are visible then I can calculate the average X over all selected month names month number sales amount I don't need the table name for measures this is fine now I can copy I can select this particular line you can press shift home to copy down the same line that you have selected you can um, or you don't have to even select it you can be anywhere in the code line and press control shift down arrow down arrow I need for quarter and year and I can go and modify the measure this is for quarter all selected quarter number quarter number and the third one is the year so I'm calculating the average sales for the years yes what this basically does is it will evaluate and check what is the current level of the hierarchy I am in right and calculate the average sales based on the column that I have specified here for that particular hierarchy level and give it a formatting now I can change the hierarchy level to monthly let's select a particular year and add the new measure dynamic average sale is 319,000 for all three months for this particular quarter so we are in second quarter of 2021 you see 372 right now the average that I'm looking at is uh, 1,026,000 this is for all four quarters I can clear the filter on the year now you can clearly see that in 2020 the average quarterly sale is 0 0.89 million and here 1 million 26,000 in order to apply a conditional formatting like I did before we need to create another conditional formatting measure let's go and do that I have already created one so I can make a copy of this uh, measure and create a new measure for that I can call it conditional formatting 2 in this case I'm going to take dynamic average sales the colors we can take uh, softer colors uh, you can use color names over here I use a website here as you can see uh, which is called uh, htmlcolorcodes.com you will be able to find uh, a lot of color names and hexadecimal codes even RGB codes that you can use uh, in your conditional formatting and wherever you need to apply colors right so for the green let me take a lighter one let's take uh, yellow green sorry yellow green and for the red one I can use uh, okay to apply uh, the conditional formatting since uh, line charts don't allow I need to first remove the dynamic average and convert this into a uh, clustered column chart this way I'll be able to apply our conditional formatting on color tab let me choose the field value and uh, sales data conditional formatting too. 
what you see now is uh, the formatting applied on each quarter I can drill down to the month level what you see is the months with uh, red and green based on the conditional formatting what I can do on top of this is to show the average line for each quarter right for that let me convert this to a line and stack column chart and I can add the dynamic average to the line chart right I need to do some formatting so units in thousand and I need to do a custom series formatting over here I don't need the dynamic average labels let me go to shapes and reduce the stroke width to two and uh, make it stepped and I can change the colors make it a bit darker you can clearly see the average line level for each quarter drill up now you are looking at the average sales for 2020 for each quarter and uh, the amount highlighted with the conditional formatting subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon if you want to receive notification for my future videos thanks again for watching and have a nice day